morning everyone. No day. Let's get her started. I think I want to change up here a little bit. Um, I want to try, well, I don't know if I've not been positive, but I want to try to do what I can, you know, to pay forward, to thank you guys for coming along, subscribing, all that, all that stuff, but, you know, been trying to figure out a platform, and, uh, I just like to just like to encourage you guys. Just helps me in helping you guys. It helps me. So um, I want to try to start being a little bit more positive, a little less negative. You know, we've got enough of that going on out here. Uh, everywhere you turn, high fuel prices, high gas, uh, uh, high gas prices, fuel prices for trucks, gas prices for you for your cars. And groceries and inflation and people not going to work you know so it's it's where, where do you go with your focus um, life can get you down and and there's a phrase that I like to use that if, if you have enough a, a knuck, if you have a neck to hug hug it you know, if you have a wife, a, a, a husband, a girlfriend, boyfriend, you know, your kids, you know, just life moves pretty fast. I mean, I didn't think I'd ever live to be this old. And I know I'm, I know some of you guys that are following my channel are, are older than I am, but the life that we've lived you just kind of scratch your head going wow I'm well beyond my my years and I'm definitely well beyond my dad's years my dad passed on when I was 44 or when he was 44 so I'm well beyond his years that he never got to got to witness so and I'm grateful of that so if you woke up today it's another day you can get it right um, Let's let's just try to let's just try to encourage each other, lift each other up. And I've been following this other channel. Um, I don't I don't mind name dropping. He's got a really good channel. It's not like he's promoting his anything, but his name is Chuck, and uh, it's called Chucking Through Life. And I really enjoy watching his uh, his vlogs. You know, it's just real. It's not that weird positivity oh that's just pot you know oh that's just ne it, there's a genuineness to it and I I'm encouraged by it so that's why I want to change maybe a little bit a little bit on my own channel not that I I, I don't believe I was negative but um, but I'd certainly like to encourage more and you know focus more on what matters like my my wife at home, my my three dogs that I call my boys. If if you've been following my channel any length, you know that I have three miniature dachshunds, one long hair, black and brown. I have I call I call him the brick. He's 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 just just solid. He's a little mini red, and then we have our new little one named Tank. Um, he's our I guess that's chocolate brown and and he's got a little red in him um, but he's our little dapple he's our newest little member and they bring great joy to me so um, I don't want to sound drab and dreary and and I want you guys to help me you know stay accountable um, there's that buzzword accountability <laughs> so if you if you want go on over and check out Chuck's channel um, called Chuckin' Through Life. He's a uh, he's a line haul driver for uh, Estes, and he's just 
if I was ever smart enough to figure out what cameras and angles and all that stuff, he's got a really cool channel that uh, how he puts things together with music and different stuff. So just just that. So um, and was, also he's got a really good positive attitude. So but we're gonna get going, guys. We've got we've already kicked tires, lit fires, as you can hear in the truck. We're gonna go to Fargo. I'm glad I'm only going to Fargo because Western North Dakota is getting snow today. Positive. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Oh, mid to late May, and we're talking snow in Utah and Montana and North Dakota. Yeah, and it's. It's a good looking size storm too. Colorado, they're talking snow. So yeah. So let's get the day started. I love you guys. And if you want to come along, let's go. I love you. I'm out.
never was. Meaning, when they booked the load with my company, our company, or company I work for, the load was already canceled. That's what these, I don't want to bash brokers, but this adds to what I don't like about brokers. I know we're talking about <laughs> get them stumped this morning, but in reality, that's that's just the trucking world. My company thought we were sitting on a load for me to go pick up and make a delivery yesterday, and uh, there's nothing. The, the load never was. I I called the, the warehouse where they had me go because it was on the paperwork or on my. Then what they do is they send you a photo of the of the, uh, the the load sheet, and it had the phone numbers on there. So I decided to call and check, make sure address, blah blah blah, all that. So I'm type A, so I want to make sure I'm going to the right place and not to an office in another location, but the actual warehouse where I need to go. And because those can be in two different locations, if any of you are in the driving world, sorry for the fall in the bag, that it's, this, these roads are just getting rough, these winters are, are tearing them up, so I apologize for that, but they went ahead and booked it with my company, even though the load, at, uh, let's see, the load was already canceled at 11 a.m. yesterday morning. I got the load sheet from my from my dispatch, and 3:30 in the afternoon. So the load had already been canceled when they booked it with us. So, yeah. All right. Well, I just thought I'd pop in in true trucking fashion. It's it's always interesting. I'll get back to you guys. Hours. 
first flex over because we are rolling, rolling down to Tolis in Arizona. So as soon as my 34 hour break is up, I'm, I'm out. So technically if that's, if I can get my clock turned off at 11 or uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon, that means by 11 o'clock tomorrow night I can be back on the road. How crazy is that? So, hey guys. Well, we're going to leave it on a positive note. I'll probably check back in with you guys here a little bit when we uh, get through the Twin Cities and try to get on the other side where the, where the yard is. And, but it's all, it's all good. Keep encouraging. That was something that I wanted to talk about earlier that kind of kind of hit me was if any of you are believers we all have testimonies each and every one of us no one greater than the other some more severe than others but we all have a testimony and uh I'd like for you to encourage, I'd like to encourage each of us to uh, don't be don't be afraid to, to share your testimony with someone. I'm not saying you gotta put it in the comments. I mean if you guys want to, that's that's your business. I'm not I'm not prying into people's personal life, but at the same time, we all have a testimony. And that's the reality of our worlds where the Lord Jesus Christ came and met us in our moment of need, whatever it was. And that's real to us. And scripture tells us to guard that like a crown of jewels on our head. That's one of the jewels. Because that's real to you and me. Whether someone wants to believe it or not matters not because it's your reality. It's what you went through and what the Lord brought you through. And speaking of that, I'd like to also add, I heard something many years ago. Uh, if you're going through hell, don't stop. Keep going. You don't want to. You don't want to hang out in hell. Just, just keep going. Get to the other side of it. Whatever it is you're going through, get to the other side of it. And if someone needs prayer, leave a comment down below. Leave it a general. I don't need to know what to pray for. I just need to know I need to pray for for you guys and for myself. So. Praying's not a not a bad thing. We all need it. And if you feel led, pray for me. I can certainly definitely use it out, out here on the road. It's getting crazier and crazier out here. People are losing their ever loving minds with their driving skills. So all right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go. I will get back to you. We're coming into Clearwater, Minnesota. We're getting ready to head into the sludge, what I call the sludge factory. Uh, into all the construction and blah, 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 all of that stuff. So let's hope we make it to the other side, all right? All right, guys. As always, Lord willing. Well, we're done for the day, guys. We're sitting in my shop. Yep. Or not my shop, but... Um, back in the day, there's my tools of the trade. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Haven't had to use this stuff in a long while. But, uh, yeah, and there's my bull float, concrete brush, all kinds of different uh, tools. Back when I used to get real physical, this is a 25 pound maul that I used to swing. Yeah, so, but we are done, guys. We're at home, obviously, as you can tell. Um, She's starting to bloom up a little bit. Trees are blooming. Yeah. Charging up the old batteries. Yeah. Get the weed whackers because most likely tomorrow I'll be uh, uh well, I'll be mowing lawn. All that good fun stuff so but but anyway enough of that so we're home we're gonna chill out oh, I've just fixed dinner had my nice little nice little steak so we're just gonna kind of roll the day up call it it call it good guys um, just remember as we were chatting earlier today um, like I've heard it said from a, from a church that I kind of follow online out of Arizona, no matter what you've done, no matter what you've done, how does it go? No matter what you've done, no matter what's been done to you, God still loves you. So don't give up. You will survive. We all will. Okay, um, I lost my cool a little earlier today. I had a friend of mine call me and just wanted to get me ramped up on uh, politics stuff that's going on in the system. And just, what's your focus? You know, simply put, what's your focus? Um, so just that, guys. So we're going to roll it up. We're just going to kind of chill out as I'm panning my... <laughs> my, my old tools, they just laugh at me when I think I'm going to use them. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, let's add this. It's it's Friday. I'm home. We made it. Yeah. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. I like quiet. <laughs>